got my dog's energy. I I'm playing it. some cross out. It's like tanks, but with cars, and you can build your own. You can make them beautiful. Or really ugly, like energies. My car is beautiful. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm beautiful my, too. My car mother said. Your, car, beauty, your fairy beauty. car mother? <laughs> it comes from the inside. Beauty comes from the guns on the top. So basically, this entire game is what you're looking at right now. Ow, that, that hurt. We got him, we got him. Do not kill me. Put some guns on your automobile. Oh, we gotta go back to our base, quick! Oh shit. He's capping our base! I'm going back, I was going back! I'm following you. Just ignore that guy, there's still one more here. I'm on his tail. It was all planned, it was all planned. I got him to slam in the wall, it was all planned. I got four health. Ah, he blew up, nice. No, 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 let him catch, don't let him catch. So on the top there, you see those two little circles. That's them trying to cap our base. Aha, we win! Ah, victory! <laughs> so now we just go right into the next game. This is it, guys. You're basically looking at the whole of it. Right now, we're doing some missions, I think, right? We're doing some missions, right? It's like some sort of PvP mission, yeah. Yeah, so there's Almost PvP like and PvE, and, um... There's also PvP and PvE, and then there's, like, raids and stuff as well. We're really low level, like, level 3, so we're just trying to... Trying to get there. I dyed my car green, because, you know, puke green is the best color. Um... Energy went and built him a custom car. Uh, you can see my health right down there on the bottom, 368 health. Uh, I put some armor on my automobile. You can see those little panels there, are, are automobile armor. You can kind of uh, build your own shit and like armor it up as you want. And oh, this guy's fucked. He's down here, he's like super fucked, so we're just gonna fuck him up real quick. Ow. So uh, I just got hit by a, a large cannon. But my armor took it. That guy's dead. Yep, I killed him. Nice job. With my indestructible machine. I lost one of my guns. He hit me on the right side. You see, I lost an armor panel there and also a gun. Uh, I'm in a bad spot because... I'm out here by myself. This guy only has one gun, though, so we can probably drive around him in a circle and shoot the shit out of him. And we got Xenergy here, up, buddy. He probably lost his other guns already. He's a fan. Alright, I got an assist. I'll take it. I'm, I'm down a wheel. You can see I'm missing a wheel there. Hey, but we won. And uh, I got a, a ribbon there for winning 10 victories against live players. So I didn't take experience. any damage. Nice. That's awesome. My car is OP. <laughs> I agree. And then I got some rewards down here. I got 24 scrap and uh, a car jack. Uh, so sometimes you'll get a a random module and you'll get uh, always you'll get some scrap so yeah that's a pretty example we'll keep going you know I'll show you guys a little bit more combat and then we'll go back to the garage um, basically there's three kinds of maps uh, there's capture the enemy base capture the neutral point and just kill everyone uh, this is a capture enemy base so we'll start at the blue and we'll go to the enemies of red over there and we will go to capture that and then you'll also see that there will be sometimes we'll come up a map that has one point in the middle to capture and then sometimes it'll just be straight deathmatch. So far, it's been pretty fun. I mean, there's a lot of things about this game that are kind of alpha. This is a beta product, so I'm gonna say alpha, but I really meant beta. Oh god! Oh cool, no fall damage. So there, I'm in the water. The water slows you down. Um, but sort of all a battle tech. It also lets you have a bit more. Uh, weapon cooldown. So as you can see, there's if you look at the weapons, you see the like yellow crawling up there. That's the cooldown of the weapons. 
So if you're in the water, that cooldown will be a little bit lower. Helps to dissipate some of that heat. Um, I also have underneath my armor, I have a, like a, a weapon cooler, like a cooldown thingy. I don't know. It's just, that's, I don't know what the name of it is. So we're going to hang out over here at their base, the cap. You see that little circle on the ground there? That's the base cap circle. And we're going to turn in circles here. We'll press spacebar, do a little drift in action. On the right, you can see their team. They still have four people alive, so I gotta kind of keep my eyes out. Uh, we got them coming up right over there. So we got forward, we got back, obviously, with reverse controls, you know, standard car controls. Um, the driving is pretty tight in this game. It's not super arcadey. Um, it's it kind of Halo, like Warthog esque. Yeah, and that's because right now you can see I'm, I'm using front wheel steering. Now you can change that. Uh, you can change it to rear wheel steering. When you build your car, you can change it. You can have all four wheels steer, so you can do counter steering. There's a lot of different methods of steering in the game. But for that particular time, so we had a pretty good round there. I got about half a level. Uh, we got a radar small, and we got 27 scrap. Let's pop over to the garage really quick, and I will show you what the garage looks like. So this is the car that I have modified. Uh, I put these armor panels on top. Underneath the armor panels, there is a module that uh, aids in cooling these three machine guns that I have. And then I added this radiator to the front. Really just some basic modifications. Uh, so if we save this, and we will save it as... Uh, let's go... Car with guns. I don't know, you can name it whatever you want. And then we have, I'll show you, we have a few, few, uh, few blueprints. So I have this other car that I designed as well. It's a little bit shorter, it does not have the cooler in the back, it doesn't have any armor really. It's faster though, and it still has the three guns, but they're three lighter machine guns. So you notice these are different guns. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're definitely different. There's no belts. These are box-fed machine guns, and these are belt-fed machine guns. Then we have faction cars, so in this game you'll join a faction when you start. And you can go ahead and pick up faction cars. This is the Viper. It is the faction car that Zenergy built his off of, so it has armored side panels here and here. Uh, it has three guns, two of the smaller machine guns, one of the larger machine guns. And then it has this, which is a car jack, which will flip you over if you flip over upside down, which happens actually more often than not. And then of course, everyone has the starter car, which is basically the exact same car as the Viper, just without that side panel armor. And then you can go ahead and buy cars uh, if you have enough money. Uh, and you can use them if your level is high enough, so there's a ton of cars that are in like various places you can purchase, like this is like a Mad Max car. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep up my car with guns here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go right back to battling with Zen. Ready, Ben? Ready. So as you can see, this is a second, this is a second PvP mission. Uh, we have a chance of getting scrap metal rewards, a random part, a random common part. That uh, radar small that we just got, a weapon radiator, and a Lumpra shotgun. Or Lupara shotgun, sorry, not Lumpra. And uh, you can get any of these rewards randomly, plus you'll always get some scrap for finishing. And there are quite a few PvP missions, and there's also these raids and the brawls. Raids are like large PvE missions. They cost fuel, which is this resource that you can't see because it's behind my camera. But there's uh, two resources there. And one of them is a resource called fuel, and that's what you use to do PvE raids. And then another one is uh, money, which you get from selling scrap and selling parts. And then right next to that is listed your player level. And as your player level goes up, you get access to more different missions, factions, and other things. Um, we will talk about factions and other things later, but right now I'm part of the Engineers faction. This is the faction everybody starts with. Each faction has different blueprints that they give you as you level up the faction. And the factions are where you will be building your items and where you will be uh, getting rewards for leveling up. So, as we wait, 1 minute and 18 seconds. Usually the queues aren't quite this bad. Um, it's Friday night. It's a little after prom time. So. That is true. A lot of these tabs aren't, like, I haven't really paid attention. I haven't really done anything with them yet. So this is, like, my item storage. These are the items that I have right now. Some of them are, I'm able to sell. Like I can sell 100 scrap and it'll give me whatever that amount of money is. Some of them I can't sell because they're only used for building. Here's that weapon radiator. I can sell that because I already have one. 
small radar is the game has a player driven market um, so you can all right let's get right into it again here we go oh and just because you know we're we are recording I'm, I'm having some bull run Delaney today which is a sparkling white wine and I don't want to get a glass so we're just drinking it right out of the bottle that's good shit in my cute green car um so this is the one with the center capture point and they are in the center capture point that's what that annoying ass siren is um it's there in the center i don't know if you can see it there we go see the diamond on the mini map on the bottom right those guys are well out of my range It's not though, so ah ha ha it's energy why I'm gonna try to position myself strategically here. Um Oh no, I was being strategic too. I may be sideways, but I can still shoot. Um I'm getting shot, I'm getting lit the fuck up right now, but I can still shoot at these guys. Uh, so what's happening right now is I'm waiting for the auto jack. I do not have a car jack on this car. There is an item called a car jack that will give you the ability to flip your car open. If I survive for 10 more seconds, it will flip me over automatically. Six, five, four, I did not make it. I thought I might, I did not. That team has handily handled us. Uh, they have done a very good job of handling our team. Um, looks like what we have left is a guy with no weapons and a uh, guy who's missing his front tire. Respect for long range. So that cannon on the top there is sort of a long range cannon. Um, I guess like an artillery piece. I don't know. Um, but you can use it to go longer range, to shoot longer ranges. Um, as long as you still have one tire, you can still move. Uh, so, oh, that's just just him left. So yeah, now they have pretty much the whole team, uh, their whole team on the center point, and you can see that they are capturing that um, that's a percentage looks like 49 50 52 55 uh, this guy's not gonna be able to do shit he's just kind of floating around ineffectively looking dumb um, that's gonna be a loss so again we got the neutral base encounter to go back to that central base. I'm gonna try and stay with my team. The handling is really rough. Not gonna lie. What do you think about the handling, Ben? I think it's kind of intentional. It's, you know, it makes it even more difficult to always land your hits. I like the hit markers. Uh, hit markers are nice. I'm gonna try to jump down this ridge, hopefully successfully, and... So now I have to wait for 25 seconds unless one of my teammates decides to come help me out. Meanwhile, taking a few shots from Josh over there. Hey, hey! It's good to have a friend who can help you out. Uh, so we're going to go after Joseph. Uh, I think Joseph, Hannah, Claudia, and Joshua are bots. Uh, this game does put bots in with the enemy team in the event of there not being enough players. Uh, you will sometimes see things explode. People explode randomly. And Synergy was the one who mentioned to me that the reason that happens is probably because bots are leaving and teammates are actually coming. Oh, did you get yourself in? I got myself yeah. Good. So I'm going to go after this guy, Senai. He doesn't even have a gun. He's just working on a melee weapon. Oh, he does have two guns there. So we're going to take off all his tires. Shoot at him when his armor's gone. I'm almost dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm almost dead. I only got a kill assist. Fuck. 
So I only got the assist on that one. Um, kind of sucks. Uh, assists don't count for much. And I think we actually are about to lose this round. Matthew over here has one gun and a lot of armor. Um, I think he's got a grenade launcher, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. I don't really know so what Maybe it's some sort of radar or something? Uh, the thing on the back is a radar, yeah. yeah. The gun he has on the front is like a grenade launcher, though? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of things I've not seen, and he's got a ton of armor, really heavy armor, you can see. Uh, he's got, he's rocking that side armor, and he keeps turning his car sideways. Oh, he's got the shotgun on the front, that's what's going on there. Um, so he's trying to, he's trying to get up close to and blow him up. There we go. So this guy, he actually picked, he has a gas generator, that's a purple item, and a shotgun. And, uh, he shows the items there, and we did lose because we did not get that central area. I'm sorry, my head is bobbing around, guys. I am petting my cat. She has sat down next to me and yelled very loud, asking for attention. So I am petting the cat. Alright, so we're going to go right to the next battle. Hello, baby. She's so cute, how can I not pet her? Uh, so, we're going to go right to the next battle. I'll show you the cat if I can. Maybe show you there. We go see the cat over there. There's a little kitty cat. So cute. She's so cute. Very needy cat. His energy has a dog. He doesn't like cats. I gotta play a game. Sorry, cat. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much cross out in a nutshell, guys. I mean in 20 minutes you've gotten pretty much everything there is to get in this game. Um, except for car building. So see that blew up right there? That guy was a bot and he blew up because they added another player. Uh, Giannis just did the same thing. Giannis was destroyed in favor of Grimlock. Destroy. Um, so it's nice that you get that, I think. I mean, that's a nice thing, right? Don't you think that's nice? That's nice. Who makes this game? I don't remember. This game is made by Guy Jan Entertainment, who also makes War Thunder. Oh, uh, that would explain a lot. So it does have a War Thunder style model. Um, Heavily tiered, and uh, there is some uh, some controversy already, of course, about pay to win. Um, I've not seen any pay to win shit yet, but maybe that's just me. This guy's got a cool model here. He's got three machine guns in the back of his truck. Oh, he took both my tires. I've got 30 health left and only one gun, so I'm not going anywhere. Hey, he got me. That's alright though, I got one kill. Uh, we're really going for kills, we want as many kills as we can get. That's the important part here. Because that's what's going to give us experience. Uh, his energy is still very much alive. Him and scared it. Oh, he's down to one wheel, I think, in the back there. I don't know if he is. Oh, now he's down to one wheel. Oh, there it went. And kaboom. Kaboom. So we lost that match, but I did get some good experience. You can see that experience meter climbing. I'm getting pretty close, actually, to level 4, which is nice. I've only got 19 scrap for that. Um, needless to say, I'm not going to live too far. So here's my mission right now. I need to complete 5 raids while using a cannon, and that'll give me 200 scra scrap. So I think on the average match, I'm getting between like 15 and 20 scrap. What about you? About the same? Seems about right. So, I mean, to finish that mission, five, you know, five missions, 20 scrap per mission, plus that extra 200 scrap. That's a lot of scrap. I mean, it saves you from playing quite a few games. You know, um, it saves you from playing eight to ten games. It's, it's pretty obvious that if you're going to get seriously into this game, there's going to be a lot of grinding, uh, World of Tanks style, you know. You know what I mean? And I guess you get, uh, you get parts, you get too many parts you can trade for scrap, right? So. I believe so. Not Although, so, so far, I've only sold parts for money. I've not traded any for scrap, um, but I think oh, you yeah, can also right. trade them for scrap. So, I think you can use money to buy scrap, if you, or to buy items. Uh, scrap, and you, you can make items with scrap. So it's like, it's like a two-tier system. So basically you can make shit with scrap, if you want, or you can, um, or you know, you can buy the things with money, which you can get by selling scrap, or selling items. Uh, either way, and that's nice because that means it gives you a few avenues. 
And like I said, I haven't even looked at the raids yet, so we'll, we'll take a look at those in a minute. And then once we have that chance to look at the raids and everything, oh, there we go, we got that enemy destroyed. Really the big thing here is just kind of keep moving. I mean, I'm, I'm getting lit up by that guy. Holy shit, that guy's lighting me the fuck up. Oh, but our guy's capturing the base. Undisputed. So we still may win. Yep, and we did win. So there you go, right there. That is a really, really great example of uh, being able to win a game. And I uh, almost leveled up level 4, so... Then we got another radar. Uh, I don't need any more radars. I got like four. And we got 29 scrap. So we're going to play one more game, level up to level four, and then uh, we will should be able to get to level four, like, even if I barely get anything. Uh, I wish we had gotten the kill only mode, but we still haven't gotten there yet. But uh, we'll get there eventually. Then I will make another video for you guys about uh, the raids, and we'll make that probably tomorrow. This is a whole separate game mode. It's PvE game mode. That's the game mode they originally showed, uh, in a, in a PvE mode, was shown at PAX East 2016, was when I, uh, no, sorry, it's E3 2016 was when I played it, um, at the time the game was PvE only, obviously it's come a long way. Spot of the world of tanks player over there. So the real, the real, the real skill here, and I say skill in location marks, it's not a skill, but the real skill here is, is having the ability to play with your teammates. And gang up two or three on one. And also, of course, the aim for the tires and for other vital points. And we're going to stay right on this point here to cap, because they are not capping us. Guy. I don't know what he was thinking there, man. He just walked into a whole world of hurt. I'm about to die, so hopefully I don't die. I think you get a bonus for not dying, so it would be nice if I didn't die. Uh, they still have two, two team members. There's one right there. It's my third assist. Uh, I have one kill, but three assists, so I'll take it. Ah, there we go, we got the victory. And cars don't have any horns that I've seen so far. That's a negative. <laughs> no horns. Every no time horns. Synergy always wants horns. Uh, we're gonna go back to the garage real quick. And uh, we're gonna wrap up this video, guys. So I did level up to level four, and as you can see, since I leveled up, I get a small reward. In this case, we've got some car parts, some hatchets. I don't know what you do with those. And uh, minivan sideboards. So minivan. now the, the faction comes up and talks to us a little bit. And uh, if we go to the garage, uh, we go to storage, actually. Sorry. You'll see that I got those items in here. I um, also have three small radiators. So we're going to sell two of those small radars because we don't need them. Uh, they're only worth like three cents. But hey, that's better than zero cents, right? Yeah, so we'll get rid of those. Um, but you can see here I got some items and I have my scrap. And uh, I will turn off my camera really quick. And you can see that here's the currencies I was talking about. So this green currency on top is fuel, which is used for raids every day and will eventually exhaust. And then this bottom currency is a sort of cash that you can use in the shop to buy things. Uh, and both of these can be purchased for real money. Uh, so oh, and I picked up a, uh, a crate. I'm assuming you open for rewards, it says. That sounds about right. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully, if you want to check it out, this is Cross Out by Gaijet Entertainment. It is in open beta right now. It's not on Steam yet. It's coming to Steam soon, but uh, it is out in open beta, and if you want to play it, you can check out. Just go ahead and put in crossout.com in your browser, and you can check it out from there. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening.